for today's brief response to the prompt for day 30. That's right, day 30 of 31. The prompt today, because we have caught up with the numerical order of prompts, is portal. On the written blog, of course, our Ghostbusters have found an actual metaphysical, and I suppose from a certain point of view, physical portal to the other world. Something that is gorging on the plasm of all of the souls harvested from the murders in the research and development facility that our Ghostbusters are trying to clean out. But the portal, of course, is feeding its dark energies, its dark purple energies, into the root system of these strangely bioengineered vines, which are carnivorous, mobile, and possibly the source of the wicker apocalypse, which the Ghostbusters have been hired and paid for in pizza to prevent. <laughs> but for this companion video, we'll look at the idea of portal to connect one more time with the overarching concept of momentum and contagion in that when we sit down to play, when we discuss how we want to play, when we reach a point with our group that we are able to discuss ways to play and methodologies of play, different types of play, different agendas, we could say, then one of the possibilities that comes up is how engaged in play we want it to be, how far from casual we might want to be dead in the heart of casual and stay there forever. Or we may want to see to what intensity our involvement in the moment of the game can reach, whether that be through the lens of being in an authorial stance or being closer, as close as we can get, to an in-character as the character stance, where sometimes it almost seems like we can take a walk in another person's shoes or see the world through someone else's eyes, where their instincts, where their reactions have become ingrained into our responses in play to the point where they are second nature. But whatever sort of engagement you seek, there are certain windows, certain behaviors, almost rituals. There are certain tools, there are certain moments, there are certain visuals which help us reach a receptive state that tell us now it is time to play. Now it is time for the thing. We can see this in sports, we can see this in music, we can see this in all sorts of art and acts of creation from cooking to painting to music and well we can see it in role-playing games as well and for me one of those portals one of those signals that now it's time to play well you're looking at them right now for me from a very very early point it has been dice for some of my friends it's been character sheets opening up of the folder or unfolding the piece of paper and seeing the character sheet before them is a transportative act for me opening up the dice bag and taking the dice out for whatever game that we're playing sometimes it's the screen sometimes it's the lighting of candles sometimes it's a triggering introductory song sometimes it's an opening statement from the game master or the group such as in our Star Trek Adventures campaign, we opened every session with space, the final frontier, and with a report to the captain's log or the executive officer's log. There is a certain ceremonial or ritual function to how we begin play, whether it's something as simple as taking out your dice to get them ready, or sharpening a pencil, looking at your character sheet, or saying hello to your friends. 
That's a signal. It's a portal. It's a threshold over which to cross from not playing the game to playing the game. And so while the Ghostbusters on the written blog are wrestling with an actual portal in their fictional world, it gives us the opportunity to think about which portals we want to enter when we play, how deeply we wish to cross over into that fictional realm of imagination that we share and collaborate on with each other. But we have one prompt left. Day 31 of RPG A Day 2020 is tomorrow. Talk to you then.